Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about zinc poisoning. So zinc is an important mineral or element that is required for a number of functioning of our body. Like for example, it is important for supporting our immune system that is going to protect us from, uh, from various pathogens. Then it also plays an important role in carbohydrate breakdown which gives us energy. Also, it helps in cell growth, division and reproduction. So overall, zinc is, an very, is a very important element that is required for normal functioning of our body. Now, zinc poisoning occurs when there are toxic levels of zinc in the body. Now, there are certain amount, there is a certain amount of zinc required in the body for normal functioning. But if that part, uh, particular amount is exceeded and toxic levels of zinc is attained in the body, then that causes zinc poisoning. Now, zinc is commonly found in paint, metal cleaners, solvent and other construction related material also it is found in rubber varnish dyes rust proofing agents etc you can also have zinc poisoning through over consumption of zinc supplements the tablets that uh, you know uh, are given for in order to get uh, if you have zinc deficiency then you get to have tablets or supplements for zinc but if you eat or uh, eat them in more than prescribed amount then that leads to overconsumption and which further causes zinc poisoning now there are different compounds of zinc zinc form compounds with chlorine sulfur phosphorus etc so there are different poisonous salts of zinc so they are zinc chloride zinc sulfate zinc phosphide zinc oxide and zinc stearate now zinc chloride is used for cleaning material uh, for cleaning the metals also zinc phosphide is used as in in making rodenticide then zinc stearate is used in baby powder so exposure to all these things might lead to zinc poisoning the sign and symptoms of zinc poisoning are if you have ingested it then obviously you're going to have a metallic taste nausea diarrhea there is vomiting pain in abdomen will be there now the vomitus will be containing blood and also the smell of vomitus is going to be garlicky uh, there is ulceration of the uh, mucous membrane of your mouth or esophagus or stomach wall and the person might even collapse due to the shock then if someone have had zinc phosphide then what happens is it is going to release phosphine gas in your stomach due to the acidic pH. Uh, you know that your stomach has HCl. So due to that, phosphine gas is going to be released. Then the signs and symptoms are going to be lethargy, hypotension, cardiac arrhythmias, metabolic acidosis, coma or death. Now if you have inhaled zinc oxide, then it is going to cause metal fume fever and also shakes which are called zinc shakes then if you inhale zinc stearate that is used in baby powder then that might cause pneumonitis so these were the signs and symptoms now talking about the fatal dose uh, zinc chloride uh, fatal dose of zinc chloride is 40 to 70 mg per kg for zinc phosphide it is 20 to 40 mg per kg zinc sulfide 15 to 15 mg per kg zinc oxide 500 zinc oxide fumes 500 mg per meter cube for the uh, if you talk about the fatal period then it might range from 3 to 5 hour to few days also then treatment in some cases it can be life threatening zinc poisoning can also be life threatening so we need to go and immediate and get immediate medical care other than that gastric lavage can be done with alkaline solution demulcents can also be given sodium bicarbonate with water uh, can also be given then purgative 
may be given in order to release out the zinc present in your body because purgative basically they will increase your bowel movement so the zinc will be in a way excreted out from the body then of course according to the symptoms that the person is developing symptomatic treatment should be done now post mortem findings there is going to be garlicky odor coming from the mouth and uh, if the stomach is open then then also garlicky odor is going to be there then there are going to be signs of irritation of your gastrointestinal tract and there are going to be degenerative changes in stomach then degenerative changes are also seen in liver kidney and heart and the visceral organs they are congested like in all the poisoning cases now medico legal aspects suicidal poisoning is seen with phosphide uh, with zinc phosphide in some cases then accidental cases occur with chronic exposure now this will happen in people who work in factories who are regularly exposed to zinc or this can also happen due to consumption of food now the food that is stored in containers that are made up of zinc so that zinc is slowly go going to diffuse out in the food and if someone eat that then that person might get um zinc poisoning then the homicidal cases are rare it may also be used as an abortifacient so this was all about zinc poisoning i hope you found my content to be useful if you found it useful then please like the video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as much as you can thank you